to the North Carolina Tar Heels. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. And the Horned Frogs will put total leather to crank us up. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So the North Carolina Tar Heels offense will get the first possession of the game. And there he is. To this team's fans, he is a heroic figure. He is the guy who can lead them to the promised land. This guy has been in big games, in big moments, and he's delivered for his football team. It never seems like a situation is just too big for him. This obviously is a huge game. I cannot wait to see this guy compete. One play in this drive and already out to the 41. It's first down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Still on his feet at the 45. And this running back right now is sending a very clear message. He doesn't want to just be known as a guy that can run around you or run away from you. He wants you to know he can lower the shoulder and get those tough yards if need be. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. It's a draw. Plows through the defense. And runs through another guy. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They make the stop inside the 25, working closer to that red zone, a gain of six. Line of scrimmage will be the 24. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They've got him looking wrong, but they're gonna throw it. Makes the grab on the left. And a confident throw and catch in there in the red zone at the 13. And the Tar Heels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Yeah, and after the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays, he decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Let's it fly. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They looked like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. So TCU's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks aren't looking for man-to-man -man coverage. I can promise you that. They'd be like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Fires to the middle. Complete to the right. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure. And he's got it inside the 25. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. That's the way you get things going. A huge play, and now attacking from just inside the red zone. Got his man quickly. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Because yeah, it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second. 
and play the run, and then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. Looking downfield, it's Hoover. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, TCU. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And the extra point is good. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Looking to the big tight end. Pass on the way, and it's picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. Got enough for the first. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. On first and 10 from the 38. Power football with the run. They're just trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Nice move to keep moving. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they're going to head out the lineup for a field goal. And they weren't able to get him in the middle of the field. So now a 49-yarder from the right hatch. What a disappointment. No good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. There. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. Unloads it left, and the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You got to start fast. You got to have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. The Horn Frogs line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can... Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Made the play on the pick, was hoping to make one on the return. He'll have to settle for letting the offense pay it off from the 26. The Opening play of this drive comes from the 26-yard line. Here's the handoff. Gets it past the marker. Just plowing ahead. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, 
but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. First down, 10 yards to go. He's looking to throw it. Quickly complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The clock is not their friend. Got to get everybody to the line quickly. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Quick completion on the out. Down to the three-yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and goal. And the Horn Frogs want to move quickly. The aerial assault continues. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee, and they'll bring it to the 25. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this off. He's off to the races. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. This offense just gets a bolt of energy when they get a play like that. Now they're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The offense threatening, close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Dropping back, it's Harold. Got it! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Now it's second and goal. Power ahead. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. No bullet on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. Right down the boulevard. It's good. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. And there will be no return on this one as the ball bounds into the end zone. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off pulling into double coverage. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Unloads to the wideout. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. And they come up with a big play to make sure no more points go on the board before the end of the half. They love nothing better than to add a three ball here before the break. And it's no good. He missed it. And it is still a four-point deficit. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. The Tar Heels will line up to kick off and start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. With him. I, I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? Looking for a man. It's Hoover. Quick strike complete. Bring in the heat. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, the defense just has not had an answer for this guy working out of the slot so far. Man coverage has been tricky. He's beaten them in zone. You might want to think about Brack. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The Horned Frogs are in the hurry up. But when it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Whoops, someone moved a little bit early. Offense going to pick up a five yard penalty. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Okay, Offense gets set for second down. On, He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Fires to the right. And the third down pass is incomplete. Well, I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead. But after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here and let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. He's going up top. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Ball still at the 45. After the incompletion, they'll snap it second and 10. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. Back to throw, it's Harrell. Now he's going to go. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And the Tar Heels will line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And the returner will be brought down. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. How about that? He smashes his way through again. And finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work as well. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business. First and goal. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He wants to throw it. Dances away from the heat. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area you've got to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping. A couple more downs here to stay aggressive. Oh, 
Oh, and the QB so lucky that that one wasn't picked off. These are small windows to throw into down here in the red zone. Defense tipped it up in the air. A lot of defenders lurking around. Lucky that ball hit the ground. Spits it out to the back. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, TCU! And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels. So pleased to send the offense back out. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Reads it, fires complete. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Harold. Using the quick game. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and TCU has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. The Tar Heels will snap it on first and ten. They try to pop a run on the draw. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And the Tar Heels are moving quickly down the field. They keep attacking through the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Second and short now after that completion. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. Used the play fake. Now to throw. He'll take a shot. Throw to the end zone. Picked off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the ground trying to pull the plug on this clock. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. First and 10 from their own 15-yard line. To the ground with the back. He has the first and still on his feet. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. 
Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. After picking up a couple at second and eight. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Fires left. He's got it. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Just inside the 40-yard line, it's first and 10 from the 39. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Good timing on the quick out. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. You know, it's interesting. At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it two straight completions now back to back. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Fires to the wideout. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. That play call is going to force a lot of people to scratch their heads because you've got the lead late. Why aren't you just running the ball? When you throw, you risk having interceptions like that right there. That should have been picked. On third and long, he has to throw for... And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. Made the play on the pick, was hoping to make one on the return. He'll have to settle for letting the offense pay it off from the 26. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Hamilton. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. He wants to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Harold. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed over the middle, it's Hamilton. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. He'll try to get it through the air. What a job to lay out and make the catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a grab. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business for the first and goal. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Looking to throw. Unleashes to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. And he's got it for a touchdown, so hold on a second. They're not dead yet. In fact, they're suddenly feeling much better. And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball. Now, we've got a one-possession game. We've got our score we did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. 
After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. A third and long coming up here. They'll leave it with him. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Give to the running back. Just keeps picking up the tough yards and gets it down to the 26. They'll give it to the back. And that is how we will wrap this one up. They won the game today. That's two in a row. If they win the next one, it's called a winning streak. It's been done before. And we're seeing the identity of this team coming to fruition. You just get the sense they're finding out who they are, what they're about, what they're going to do schematically, and who their big playmakers are. Which is tough to do, right? It's tough to grow throughout a season and understand who you are. But when you stack wins week after week on top of each other and start to have success, you start to grow as an identity and you start to understand who you are. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.